Hey everybody, this is my Ascend H12 kayak and I'm getting ready to go out on the water for the afternoon, but I was asked how I mounted the motor to the side of my kayak here and so I want to go over that real quick before we get out on the water. I will be doing some more videos about this kayak. I want to talk about a few other mods that I've made to it. I want to talk about my impressions, how it handles, uh, what it's like fishing out of it, uh, all sorts of stuff. I really, really like this kayak a lot. I can already say I'm going to gush about it when I do talk about it. But for today, let's keep it fairly simple and talk about how I mounted the motor to the side right here. If you can't figure it out, already it's just a simple uh, transom mount for a Minn Kota. this is a Minn Kota 30 I took the head off of it but again we'll talk about that in a different video and then I simply took a metal plate you can get them as little reinforcement plates uh, here's a small version of one if you get the great big thick version it's got six holes in it instead of four and so I just ran screws and if you're better at measuring uh, and drilling and stuff than I am this will be a lot easier time than I had with it but eventually if you get them all lined up through the holes that are already drilled in the metal and then of course you'll have one extra on either end I've just got holes drilled through the uh, polyethylene material here and then I've got uh, lock washers and nuts on the bottom side there and I basically just mounted a block of two by four to the side of the kayak that's as simple as that and then I've got the motor hooked right up to it there's no need for it to go out or extend further away as you can see we're tucked right up against so we're good to go you can actually still use this method for deploying it if you wanted now even though it's pulled up all the way tight that's still throwing your center of gravity out further away from the boat i just don't really see any need to do that when having it in the fully deployed position you can still pull it up completely out of the water uh, you can see roughly where the water line is right there and how the uh, body of the motor is out of the water just the sort of fin on the bottom trails in the water a little bit but you can pretty much pull it up and out of the water completely simply by adjusting this collar screw and I'm going to try to do this without dropping the motor. I'm doing it one-handed here but if you loosen it up just enough yeah, I can push it down you can go ahead and deploy it and then you tighten your nut back up here and you're good to go you're out in the water and as you're approaching shore you just lean back from the seat it's not an issue at all you just loosen your nut back up again I'm going to try to do this without dropping the motor just loosen your nut back up and pull your motor up, tighten your nut. <laughs> Ideally, you do that with more than one hand, uh, but that's it. And it just slides up or down. You can deploy it when you need it. If you're getting in and out of the water, you can just pull it up out of the water like that. And then, of course, if you want to run, you know, hang on a minute, I'll do this with two hands this time. If you want to run out in deeper water and you want to get the most depth you can run it way down like that and have the motor deployed way down below the kayak i find that that's a little counterproductive you get too much flex and it starts moving and then it starts wobbling with your steering uh, i tend to run it about like that when i'm really out and fully running the props are well below the whole body of the motor is well below the boat. And then if you really need to, as long as as long as you've got enough room for your prop to spin and not hit the side of the boat, and you are going to want to have it tilted ever so slightly inward, if you have it straight, it's going to tend to push you off to the side. So you are going to have to cock the motor just a little bit this way when you set it up which gives you a little bit more room back here but you can see you can run the motor that shallow and troll around while you're fishing and then of course with the foot control rudder pedals and the infinite variable speed control um, you know just creeping around along the shoreline and fishing all day long uh, on that battery is no problem at all I've so far done 11 miles um, that was my longest distance. I've done six hours 
uh, another day and on none of these occasions have I even come close to wearing the battery down by having that infinite variable speed controller but we'll talk about that in a different video but that's it for the motor we will also talk about in another video uh, how and why I took the head off of the um, it's a Minn Kota 30 uh, what's it, an Endura C2? It's the cheapy. It's the $93 model because there's no need to spend a lot of money on the expensive infinite variable models when you can just make your own for about $25. So we will go over a video about that too of how to wire in uh, your very own speed controller. And then you will have infinite variable speed control. And then with the rudder that I can deploy from the sitting position, that's what these strings are for. And then these are my foot control steering. So I can steer. I've got infinite variable speed control. I've got the capability of switching from forward and reverse all sitting right here at my fingertips. And then that is my battery monitor while I'm out on the water. So... All in all, with the mods I've made, it is a sweet, sweet setup. I absolutely love this kayak. And again, we'll talk about uh, more of its performance and handling and once we're out on the water and all that kind of stuff. So look forward to that. Make sure you're subscribed. I hope that was helpful as far as how to mount that motor. But it really is as simple as just bolting a 2x4 sideways on the side of the boat. And then I spray painted it brown so it wouldn't look like an ugly 2x4 sitting there. And then you mount your motor to it. So there you go. Thanks for watching, everybody. Make sure you're subscribed. And I'll see you real soon in the next one.